Hi everyone, welcome back to the channel. Now in today's video, we're going to look at some of the grip secrets that nobody really talks about. Now these are some of the things that a lot of the professional players have got in common. And this is going to really help us to control the cue better and hit with a lot more accuracy. The first thing to look at is the angle of the wrist. Now, what do we mean by that? So, I don't want my wrist to be turned underneath when I'm on the shot, and I don't want it to be too far back. That in encourages the elbow to be pulled behind the head. So what we're actually trying to do here is keep this part of the wrist neutral. That makes this part cocked out a little bit, if anything, but that helps to really keep the wrist stable so that we can deliver in a nice straight line. So if I've got this shot on the green here, I can have my wrist in that nice neutral position, then I can pull the cue back and then go right the way through to my chest and deliver the shot. So very, very important there that you try and have the wrist in that neutral position. It feels like the wrist is cocked out, stops the elbow being too far behind the head and it stops any turning of the wrist and helps you to deliver in a much straighter line. This next one is a great tip. It helps you increase follow through and also helps you to keep the cue very flat. And what we're trying to do here is get the cue into the back of the hand. So obviously when we start the shot, we're going to get the cue holding more in the front part of the hand. After the shot, we want the cue to have gone more into the back part of the hand. And this, this helps to keep the cue flat. If we still hold it in the front, the cue goes up in the air. So if we can move the cue to the back of the hand, it keeps the cue nice and flat. So when I play this shot here, you'll see that I'll do my feathers up. And then when I pull the cue back and then I deliver, you can now see that what I'm doing is I'm holding the cue in the back part of my hand. That's where my grip has gone to. Very, very important for increasing follow through and keeping the cue nice and flat during the delivery. This next tip follows on from the previous one, and that is to relax the index finger off the cue. That really helps to then get the cue into the back of the hand. So at the beginning of the strike, so when I'm first feathering up here, that index finger is there, and then we'll see that when I come back and I go through the shot, that finger has relaxed off the cue. It's come, it's come off, helping the cue to remain nice and flat. If I just do another one of those, that's very important. Helps the cue to stay flat. Also helps you to increase your follow through a little bit. So again, if I just go down to the shot, do my aiming checks, make sure it all looks good. That finger is there at the moment. Pull back and then when I fire, the finger has come off the cue allowed the cue to stay nice and flat. Very, very important for keeping the cue flat and increasing follow through. This next tip was a very important one for me, and that is that when you're playing delicate touch and feel shots, you're actually using the fingers and the hand to get some extra control of the cue. So it's not just a case when we play snooker of the only thing controlling that movement is the closing of the arm. We can get even more control and feel by feeling what the actual fingers of the hand are doing. So if I've got this shot here where I've got a little bit of a low angle and I want to hold on these reds, I can feel the, the hand coming into it here and feel the shot so that I can go through the shot nicely. And yeah, try to get that, that feel of what the hand is doing. It gives you a lot of extra control and touch when you're playing those little delicate cannons and little holding shots like I just played there. Last thing I want to talk about in this video is the wrist flick. So if I've got a long blue shot like this and I'm trying to generate a lot of backspin and bring the white all the way back, I've got to go right through, bring the cue right the way through the ball and get the ball zipping back. Now, without that bit of wrist flick, without that extra bit of acceleration, it's very difficult there to generate all that backspin and get the cue moving. So have a play around with, seeing if you can introduce that bit of extra speed with your wrist and generate long, deep screw shots like that. So thanks a lot for watching everybody. I really hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a like. If you're new to the channel and you haven't already subscribed, please consider subscribing. That just really helps me to keep all these instructional videos coming regularly. For anyone that's interested in any personal one-to-one -one training sessions, I'm working on this very table, helping players to improve their game all the time. So if you look in the description box below, you'll see all my details there. Get in touch and I'd love to help you personally with your game. And as always, I'll catch you all in the next video. Cheers.